Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back to vlogmas day 8 And if you guys want to keep up with my vlogmas content I am filming Monday through Friday and uploading every single day and then I'm taking the weekends off just to prepare quality content for you guys So today we have a bit more of a chill video. So it's 10 31 and I'm currently starting to wind down my day and prepare to go to sleep. So I figured out it would be the perfect time to do a winter nighttime routine. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. I've had such a long day. My makeup is like halfway coming off. I feel super gross, but here we are. <laughs> I'm currently sipping on my hot chocolate. I put a bunch of marshmallows in it and I'm just ready to unwind and get ready for my night. I thought it would be super beneficial to do this just because I wanted to take the weekend off of Vlogmas to just have like a mental health weekend. I feel like some days I don't do that much so I definitely want to have some videos like some nice quality sit down videos that I can post to just like keep my quality going because I'm one of those people that prefers quality over quantity. So the first thing I do in my nighttime routine is showering. So I love to shower at night. I'm not one of those like morning shower people. I always shower at night because I like to go to my bed and feel like super clean. So I'm just gonna go ahead wash my hair wash my body and I will see you guys once I'm done because I'm definitely not gonna record that y'all don't need to see that it's not very family friendly so I will see you guys once I'm all cleaned and showered so I just hopped out of the shower and I put on my Christmas pajamas they are matching you guys can see but I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of this trust my heat protectant in my hair and then I'm probably gonna use um, this like hot airbrush that I received from this one company ESR to Do my hair. So then once I spray enough of the heat protectant in my hair I'm just going to comb through it and then I use this hair pick Just to comb it out because I don't want to rip my hair out by using a hairbrush And this is perfect for like not ripping your hair out and then once it's all brushed through I'm gonna take a comb and then part my hair kind of like offset middle-ish like so instead of like right here kind of just like right off to the side nothing too crazy but just to kind of offset my face a little bit and it makes your face look a little bit more symmetrical which is cool and then i'm also going to go ahead and use my it's a 10 miracle silk leave-in spray and this is just to help give my hair some hydration this stuff is so good. I freaking love it. So this is the hot tool that I was gifted and I've been using it a few times and I love it. This tool has been all over TikTok so I definitely recommend you try it if you haven't. I see the hype about it. It like leaves your hair so pretty. So first I'm going to go ahead and put it on the hot high setting just to like kind of dry my hair a little bit and then I'll put it on the low setting to style it. see like I've barely styled it but it's looking so nice and it's like voluminous and just like cute you know I'm just gonna fix this part it's like kind of wet but the ends are looking great so once I'm all done blowing out my hair I then take some argan oil just to really like hydrate my hair because that thing is super drying but I love the way that my hair looks because it'll like kind of fall out in the morning and just look really natural and nice and it's so easy it literally took like 10 minutes for my hair to look like this like what it's crazy that looks so pretty And then tonight I've decided I'm going to do this KNC Beauty Lip Collagen Mask. I've never done a lip mask before so this should be fun. But I already washed my face in the shower so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. It says put on for 15-20 minutes every day. I've never used one of these before so let's see how it goes. I'm having a hard time taking it out, so it's really like slippery in this package. It's like kind of hard to take it out. So this is what it looks like, and I'm gonna put this on my lips for 15 to 20 minutes. How do you do this? I think this is the top lip. Yeah. Okay. My lips feel so weird, but like like very hydrated at the same time because I did this because my lips were so chapped It's like that time of the year where it's like winter and stuff and my lips are like I'm not kidding. They're not chapped at all Like I had like little pieces of skin like hanging out just because they were so chopped 
and they're like not anymore which is like crazy so these things actually we're going to buy more of these apparently this is like the only product in this line but it works i'm telling you guys this is actually crazy i'm like in awe right now my lips feel so soft also i hadn't tasted it it doesn't taste too good it tastes weird but this thing surprisingly also burns like i don't know if any of you have tried the Too Faced lip injection um like lip gloss but it feels the same way like when you first applied i was like am i having an allergic reaction because it's like kind of burns <laughs> but while i was waiting for 15 minutes i read online that it burning is pretty normal um it's just like the hyaluronic acid they put in to like make your lips more plump and everything glad i was not having a reaction to that i was a little scared i was like oh my god i have to take this off because it really burned so if you guys are definitely looking for like a quick fix for lips like that are dry or chapped or anything definitely get this like lip mask i don't think i've ever put on like a mask or anything and then immediately after been like wow this works that's like this is like the very first product that i've ever put on and like immediately i'm like whoa this actually works i'm gonna go ahead and put some vaseline on my lips just to really seal in the moisture because my lips are just so chopped i don't know if you guys can see how freaking good they look oh my god and then next in my winter skincare routine i'm gonna take a cotton balm because i'm out of cotton rounds and i'm gonna put some clear pore astrogen from neutrogena on it and this is pretty much just like toner but i think stronger and like more drying for acne and stuff it has like salicylic acid and i like to put that on my forehead and everything just not near my eyes to prevent breakouts and acne from happening and it is really strong like oh my god so then once i put the astrogen on i'm gonna go ahead and put on the niacinamide by the ordinary I love this stuff. It is amazing. I definitely recommend getting this one over like the hyaluronic acid in my opinion. Um, just because the hyaluronic acid one made me get fungal acne, which is not fun. I literally broke out like all like in this area and it was not cute. I made a video about it. If you guys want to see it, I'll link it like right up there. But it was awful. And I was like, oh my god, what is this? And the only new product I had used was the hyaluronic acid so i know for sure it was that and then for reference i just have like combo normal skin that like fluctuates with the season so like if it's cold it'll be more dry and if it's hot it'll obviously like be more oily so it's pretty nice because my skin just changes like with the weather so i kind of know like what to use depending on the weather i'm gonna take my trader joe's moisturizer i live by this swear by it so go get some put it all over my face just like that and then just like massage it in there I feel so like rejuvenated again. And then I'm gonna put on some eye cream really quickly just to moisturize my eyes. So that is my skincare routine. So like a couple times a week, I will choose to do like a mask or something. But the main point is that I try to always incorporate like something into my routine that's like a mask weekly. So then now that my hair and my skin are done, I'm gonna go ahead and get on with my night. My night usually consists of me watching TV or a show or something and then i will usually have like a warm drink but since it's winter i'm probably gonna have some hot chocolate with a bunch of like the little marshmallows on top those are like my favorite <laughs> and then i will journal for a little bit at night because i haven't done that today i will most definitely cuddle with maui i usually do try to plan out my video that i'm posting the next day before so i'll make the thumbnail tonight and then i will also like write up the description and everything so one of my favorite forms of self-care is like when you have something to do but you do it early and then when the time comes you don't have to do it you can just like relax and it's like oh, it's the best feeling
so I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here. It's getting late. I think it's like it's like 1 a.m. right now, and I'm really tired. I did all of my stuff today. I, I did my skincare, I journaled, I edited. I literally did everything I had to do, which was awesome. But now I'm super ready to go to bed. I'm tired. I took off my contacts, and so now I'm wearing my actual glasses so I could see. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me be productive and see what I do in a typical night. And please make sure to subscribe down below and join the fam. But I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas. Bye.